Hey everyone, Jay here, back again with another video. This one's a little bittersweet. Okay, if you're from Toronto, you know where Onaset is. And if you're in the horror scene in Toronto, you know where Suspect Video is. Which is pretty much the same area because it's in the same building. But as you know, that um, as of December 31st, Honest Eds and Suspect Videos are going down because they're building a condo there now. And yeah, it sucks because both places are a staple of this scene and the city in general. When it comes to Honest Eds, what else can you say? It's Honest Eds. You know the bright lights, you know the fucked up tacky stuff you can buy there. And yeah, uh, as for Suspect Videos, it was a haven for just movies in general. When it came to horror movies, when it came to just movie lovers, when it came to Horrorama, or just Fan Expo, when it comes to the horror section. Hell, I bought this shirt at Suspect Videos. I love that place, and I, I am absolutely gutted that it's going out of business. But they are doing a sale for all their inventory, and obviously I had to do, I had to get some because it was a big place, and some of these movies you can hardly find anywhere else. So I did get the, the, these videos, and they are going to a good home. But obviously I have to pay my respects to Suspect Videos and Honest Eds before showing what I got. But that being said, here's my haul video. First video, a Canadian classic and one in the punk scene in general. This is Class of 1984. What can I say about this movie? Uh, I believe this is one of Michael J. Fox's first movies in general. But it's a great movie, you haven't seen it. And yeah, all of these were pretty much $3 each. So that means since I'm going with the first punk kind of horror movie, I'm going to go with the punk movies. Next movie is Minor Threat, which is the concert movie. What can I say about Minor Threat? Except, you know, they rule. Because how can you not love Minor Threat with fucking Ian McKay, fucking Brian Baker? Speaking of uh, the next movie, one of my favorite docs of all time, Joe Strummer's The Features Unwritten. One of the only docs that still makes me tear up, especially during the end. I love Joe Strummer, I love The Clash, and I love this documentary, and I finally own it. So, yeah. Next one. Bad Religion Riot. I love Bad Religion, besides Descendants and Youth Brigade. They're probably my favorite band of all time. And this was the only uh, DVD I was missing that I didn't own already. So I finally own it. It had a lot of great songs that they hardly play anymore, like Part 3, I love that song, You Are, all these always play You Are The Government, but like Frogger, not that many people like Frogger, but I actually love that song, so there's that. Next, Bad Brains, live at CBGB's 1982. Say what you will about uh, Bad Brains and HR in general, but they have a place in punk rock. This is a great band, great fucking concert, uh, DVD, and I own it in my collection. Next up, The Cramps. I love The Cramps. This is live at Napa State uh, Mental Hospital. I actually never saw this until I bought it, and, and I really enjoyed it. But then again, how can you go around with The Cramps? Human Fly, great song. Next up, I have my trauma videos, because I love trauma, and besides going to horror conventions, it's really hard to find trauma videos, so I splurged. First off, Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD. Uh, what can I say about this one? It's a great superhero movie. It's campy, but then again, so is all the trauma movies, but yeah, love this one. Next up... Class of Newcomb High, a trauma staple and a classic nonetheless. 
uh, I still need two and three and the return, and I can't wait for volume two of Return of Nukem High. But yeah, I only own this one. The one, probably my favorite, besides Terra Firmer, is Tromeo and Juliet, made by the great, or written by the great James Gunn, who made Guardians of the Galaxy and Slither. Uh, next up, Poultry Guys, which, again, is an over-the-top movie, but you can't go wrong with this one. But then again, you can't go wrong with a lot of trauma movies. Next up, on VHS, Trauma Wars. I believe this is the one that costs the most for trauma, and you can tell by the explosions and the fact that it's not shot in New Jersey, but a good one nonetheless. This one I got from Honest Ed, not from Suspect Videos. I got It's Alive, for, which is a very rare DVD, and I got it for $1.99. It's fucking amazing. I haven't seen this movie in forever, but yeah. What can I say? $1.99, I can't go wrong. Even if I hated the movie, I would have bought it anyway and, you know, traded it, but I'm not going to. This is going to my collection. Next up, an underrated Tom Hanks movie. This is probably the only one that's not considered horror, besides the punk stuff. The Burbs by Joe Dante. What can I say about The Burbs? But, you know, it's just hammy and over the top and probably Tom Hanks at his, you know, he's just chewing the scenery in this movie, but it's so good. It has Bruce Dern, Corey Feldman, fucking Princess Leia is his wife. It's a great movie. Now this one, I have to admit, I am not a fan of, but I am also a completist. I have VHS 1 and 2, this is VHS Viral, the third one, which... We all can agree, kind of sucks, but three bucks, might as well get it. Might as well complete the uh, collection. This one, it's a double pack. My Bloody Valentine and April Fool's Day. I already have My Bloody Valentine on VHS and DVD, but I didn't own April Fool's Day, which is also a staple in the slasher genre, so I had to get it, and it has Biff from Back to the Future, so. I finally own it. This Spanish movie uh, is really good. I've seen it once. I don't remember how it goes, but I remember really liking it. It let the corpse let the corpses lie. Oh, let the sleeping corpses lie, which is really good. Anchor Bay. I have to I have to watch this again. Get reacquainted with uh, the whole movie, but yeah, this is a great movie from what I remember. From what I remember. And after that, I got some just movie docs because I love movies, I love documentaries about movies, so here we go. Going to Pieces, which is about the slasher genre, which I like aspects of. I like the interviews, I like the whole aspect of like the crusade with Roger Ebert and like, you know, Silent De Deadly Night and the whole uh, thing about censorship and the, the Senate and all that stuff. Only problem is, I like uh, docs that have a more neutral aspect to what they're promoting and what they're shooting. This kind of leans on their own agenda a little bit later on, but still a great doc in the end. And again, $3. Can't go wrong. And I had it to my collection. This one. The Psycho Legacy. I love Psycho. Uh, Psycho 1, 2, not so much 3, 4, I enjoyed a little bit more. Fates Hotel, again, it's its own thing. I enjoyed it more as a black comedy on mental illness than I do as a sequel, uh, prequel to Psycho, but a doc on the legacy of Psycho and all this um, prequel, uh, sequels and what influence it had, and yeah. How can you go wrong? Alfred Hitchcock and Anthony Perkins and we all go a little mad sometimes. And last but not least, 
this film is not yet rated about the, you know, the rating system and how fucked up and stupid it is. And it has the guys from South Park, Matt Stone, John Waters, who I love, Kevin Smith, who I respect, I used to love, but I respect. But yeah, this, oh, it's weird. It's a weird one, just how they run and how wish-washy they are, but yeah, that's all I got. Um, if you live in Toronto, they still do a lot of the sales for suspect videos, if you can. Uh, if you have the time and have the money and have the space for the movies, you should definitely go. Because they have a lot of stuff. And obviously those guys deserve all the money for all the years of hard work that they did for the scene in general. It's for movie lovers. And yeah, it sucks that another mom and pop shop is going down, but... These videos are going for a good home. I'm Jay. See you next time. Later.